everyone, Simone Cobb with Cutting Horse Training Online. We're here at the 2015 NCHA convention and of course we have Jim Brett, the Executive Director. How are you? I'm great, Simone. How are you? Good, thank you. So how has the convention been this year? You know, I think we've had an outstanding meeting and convention and the opportunity for all the directors to come together, um, do the business of the association and, and uh, you know, work through the committees to, uh, to make some really great things happen. So I couldn't be more pleased with the uh, uh, experience we've had this week. What were the big issues that you really needed to address this year? Well, I think, you know, as we look at the uh, NCHA in total and all the things that we need to, to do to improve on is how can we give, you know, the members a better experience? How can we provide better experience, uh, customer service? And how can we uh, really look at our product, which really comes down to shows and classes and how do we, um, you know, classify people as far as amateur, non-pro and uh, uh, open? And uh, so, you know, how do we define those things? So we've started those conversations. Not a lot of things have been absolutely decided yet, um, but we'll have those conversations over the next year. What were the meaty topics that, I mean, not necessarily controversial, but that, that created some debate? Sure. So, you know, one of the things that we've been working on for a, quite a while now, in fact, you know, the entire process has been about four years, is our uh, internal IT project. And so, you know, the systems that we use um, to do the business of NCHA, and, and uh, you know, that was something that, that folks wanted to know more about and, and uh, make sure that we're uh, doing all that we can to make sure that that system actually does provide us the uh, value that we want. And I think uh, everybody came away really impressed with the capabilities that that system is going to be able to give us. The things that we can actually do now for members uh, and provide them the service that they really expect to do the way you know to do business that we all expect to do with Amazon and on our phones and through mobile applications and all those things that we do with everybody else that we just haven't had the capability to do so that was a, a you know a pretty weighty topic you know again you know one of the things that we'll be talking about and we're really just starting the the initial process is you know looking at um, our eligibility and, uh, and being able to provide opportunities for people to cut. That's really what it all comes down to is, you know, how do we get more people on the back of a cutting horse and give them the opportunity to show and feel competitive? And that's, you know, that's always been a, an important topic for us. It's part of our mission statement. And it's something we, we'll just continue to refine as we go forward. So with the website, it's a big spend over a million dollars. Um, it sounds like what you're doing is kind of breaking new ground with how much information you'll have and what people can do with it. Absolutely, you know, so through our internal business processes and then the website um, and then, you know, moving on to mobile applications and all those things. It, it truly is a groundbreaker for this organization because we've never had this kind of capability. Um, you know, we, we've been um, very, you know, uh, handcuffed um, by the technology that we had available to us, you know, the opportunities that we've had um, or, you know, to uh, not give our staff the right tools and not give our members the right tools. So, yeah, the, the amount of data that we'll be able to go in and help determine, you know, what classes are working, what, uh, um, you know, what sorts of things do we want to look at to provide the, the executive committee better information to make decisions, to provide the committees better information to make decisions, will be on a whole new level that we've never had before. Now, a challenge, somebody talked about the job of the NCHA, which is both to record and um, celebrate the Western Heritage, sure. which is a big job because there's a lot of information yeah. that you've got, you know, records and video and, um, you know, shows, all that kind of thing. Right. And then you've also got to be able to harness technology to take it into the future mm -hmm. to grow the organization. That That's quite a challenge. It is, you know, so, you know, I think it's important that we take it one step at a time. You know, we can't uh, get uh, everything done all, all uh, within the next three months as much as I would like it to. So I think it's really important for the organization that as committees, as a board of directors, as the leadership, that we um, define what, where it is we want to go 
and we set priorities for how we're going to get there. And so that way, we're taking it a step at a time. We're adding value to the membership. We're adding opportunities to grow, um, but we're doing it in, while still being financially responsible, um, being good stewards uh, of this organization, and, and just making sure that we're making, you know, we're making opportunities to uh, make it better. And the spirit with which that comment was said was that I think you're actually on the road to achieving that. And the people in the comments that we've had have been overwhelmingly positive. People are coming away feeling very optimistic about the future of the organization um, and have actually credited you that many times. So how does that feel? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, I take a lot of pride in just, um, you know, being able to be a part of that process. But it, it truly is a team effort. You know, I think one of the things that we're seeing is a sea change in the organization is, um, you know, we want to be uh, open to uh, input from everybody. And, and we want to be open to, uh, you know, additional comments and additional suggestions. And, and how do we get uh, input from more members? And, uh, and how do we call, go and talk to potential members about what would bring them in? Um, so it, it, it is a team effort. The staff at NCHA is uh, absolutely one of the best groups of people that I've ever worked with in my career. Um, the leadership is open to, uh, you know, change and input. And, uh, you know, I think that's just something that, that has evolved with the association. And, and uh, you know, I'm just glad to be part of it. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll just continue to make it better. Well, finally, on basically just confirming what you were just saying, a lot of the people also feel like the there are my, many more attempts being made to make things transparent and to open that communication right up. Sure, and you know that's that's been an emphasis, uh, you know, since I got here in, in 2013. Uh, it will continue to be an emphasis and, and uh, something that we want to do even better at. And, you know, as technology evolves, it allows us to give so many more opportunities through our, our website as we begin to update that, um, through uh, just going out and doing listening sessions with our members and, and directors that, that didn't happen to be able to have the opportunity to be here. Um, you know, that's just going to be uh, an emphasis for us all. And as I go to cuttings and, you know, we uh, talk to people, it, it's just, you know, it's about listening and, uh, and giving everybody the opportunity to have input. Well, thanks very much for your time today, Brent. Sounds like the industry's in good hands. Well, we, we hope so, and we're going to continue down this road. And we appreciate all y'all do as well. And, and uh, you know, it just it takes everybody to make it grow. Thank you. Thank you.